Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome you to the broadcast of today. And we're speaking on the topic, Bath Panks. I'm going to read from John 12, 24. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except the grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. That's in John 12, 24. And I want you to realize something, that, you know, the, the mandate that God has given to us is that we should be fruitful and also that we should multiply. It's one thing to be fruitful. It's another level entirely when we start to multiply. And to multiply you will, to multiply I will, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When God created the first family, they were in a garden. By the time the second Adam, our Lord Jesus Christ, will come, the world had gone far. And today, as we speak, the world has even gone further. What has happened? Multiplication upon multiplication upon multiplication. That's why we need to center our hearts on it and pray that God will give us the grace, not just to be fruitful, but also to multiply. Praise ye the Lord. But you know, multiplication uh, uh, goes through the process that there is pain involved. A multiplication. Before a family multiplies, there's a process, and the, our woman will tell you that the process of giving birth can be uh, painful. And sometimes we go through things, and sometimes we face these challenges, and sometimes it looks like heaven is brass. And sometimes we look around and it looks like everything looks hopeless. But maybe at that time we're just on the threshold of giving birth. Maybe you are going through the bath pangs. Maybe. So it's always the time also not to give up, but to give birth. Because at times, the two options that are laid before us are these, to give up or to give birth. You will not give up, I will not give up. We will give birth in the name of Jesus. Great products come out after intense, long hours of research. Great books are, are, are written after midnight candles have been born. Great ministries are born after deep and intense prayer seeking the face of God. Through the bad pangs and through the bad pangs, when you get there, you will not give up. And if you are going through those bad pangs now, don't give up. Give birth. Persist. Trust the Lord. Ask him for grace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, contrary to what many believe, spiritual work is actually hard work. So God told Joshua in Joshua 1.8, This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate upon it day and night. And guess what? Anything that you do in your day and your night is costing you something. That you are not just doing it during the day, you are even spending the night on it. So those are the bad pangs. And you ask yourself, beloved, what are you spending your day and night for? What are you sowing towards? What are you investing in? Amen. What a man is doing in his day and his night determine the kinds of harvest that awaits him in his future. God wants you to be fruitful. God wants me to be fruitful. God wants us to multiply, and we shall multiply in the name of the Lord Jesus. When the bad pangs come, always two options, to give up or to give birth. You will give birth. I will give birth. God will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Mm -hmm.